to my channel everybody if you're new here my name is Rebecca Bailey I do lifestyle videos and videos on Italy because I currently live in Italy a city called Torino up in the north of Italy okay so uh, let's get into this video we're going to talk about my Italian learning Italian journey the journey of learning Italian okay the language Italian all right, guys, let's take it back. I do get excited about, about um, reminiscing back about on the past and before I came to Italy. It's quite exciting because I didn't know, I have a clue what was going to happen, guys. I, didn't, I just didn't know, you know, it's, it's the unknown. When you're moving somewhere new, doing something different, learning something different, you don't know, literally don't know what's gonna happen. And looking back, it's like, it's sweet. It's sweet, guys, it's, it's sweet. Um, I'm gonna just drink in between if you don't mind. I've got my Christmas cup out, yes. Um, I'm drinking um, almond milk, no, Avena milk, Avena. In, it, in English is oats, okay, Avena, oats. Drinking that with some cinnamon and um, turmeric and uh, cloves. Okay, it's kind of like a, and some ginger. It's like a fest, very festive drink. So I'll be sipping on that. Right, so okay, let's get into the story about learning my journey learning Italian all right guys okay this channel for anybody that's new here or whatever I've never said this before but I I I can't sh I would never sh sugarcoat living in Italy I would never sugarcoat living in a different country if you need to be sugar you want the sugarcoat in please you have to go somewhere else because I'm just going to be honest and sh tell you my experience and the experience of many people around me you know, we could talk about the bella vita, the beautiful life. Yeah, life is beautiful, but also, you know, living in a different country, it can be difficult. And I sometimes think that when, when we watch some YouTube videos or just the idea of Italy, we can romanticize it and think it's going to be beautiful and amazing. This is going to happen and that's going to happen. Yeah, those things can happen. But, you know, there's the yin and there's the yang. There's also something else, you know, you know there's good and then there's, there's bad or there's not even necessarily bad it's just life anyway so i talk about my experience learning italian so before i moved to italy i was studying i had some italian one or two italian people in my life at the time um and i was i was talking with them in italian uh so yeah i was i was pretty active trying to learn italian guys i was quite active i really wanted to learn it if, if, if anything i was very motivated to learn it more i am motivated now but it seemed when i look back it seemed that i was more motivated to learn it then okay but saying that it's because the pressure wasn't on all right some people perform great under pressure some people don't and i'm not saying i don't perform good under pressure but in this particular instance when it comes to maybe learning something i need to have the pressure off so when I was in it, when I was home, it was fine. I was learning um, Italian. Uh, I had a book and I was reading the book, and you know I was conversing with my friends at the time about it, and that was it. And I was very energetic about it. I was like, mm, 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 about it. Right. So coming to Italy, I just I'm just going to be honest and transparent right now, guys. I didn't think learning Italian would be so difficult for me. I'm normally the type of person where when I get my mind set on something, I do it guys so three almost three years later or whatever sitting down here and not even being fluent in the language not even just just where I am in the language I'm not happy with and to be at this level I'm, I'm very disappointed with myself I can't lie and I just because I didn't think it I, I didn't think it would be so difficult to learn it I don't know but when I look back at when I when I was in school and I was learning uh I, they taught us French and German, guys. I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on in the French test. I remember I had to do my French GCSE and they took us downstairs and they said we had to, we had to listen to a recording. There was an examiner, an examiner in there. We had to listen to some recording. I had to say something back. Um, what else? What else did they have to do? 
somebody was talking to me they had like the the examiner talking to me in a different language all till today i don't really understand so maybe that was my inkling of me learning a language it's just i was gonna i'm gonna find it difficult that was maybe my first red flag that i didn't understand what was going on then and truth and also i prioritized um my other gcses over french and german i just thought to myself okay i'll go to that lesson i'll sleep through it not like literally but i will sleep through it and then focus more on revising for my other english science you know the ones that were the jobs that can get you into uni into college and into university yeah anyway so coming moving forward i came to italy um i i did do some studying there but then guys life happens life started to happen okay i got a job uh i moved into the house um thinking about money thinking about just thinking about living thinking about everything else right that comes into play so what should have been a priority when I moved to the country was learning the language became less of a priority. It should be the highest priority, guys, okay? But it became less of a priority because I could get by. I could get by in English. I could get by talking in English or broken Italian. I could get by with it. So that's what I started to do. My job was in English. I taught English at Fiat. My job was in English all day, spoken English to people. Outside, all my flatmates that I lived with were all foreigners, was some from India, some from Poland, some from UK, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, everywhere guys. So they, um, so we all spoke in English. What else, what else did I do in English? When I met my boyfriend, we spoke in English. Um, when I met people, I would try to talk in English, but then they would come back at me. No, I was trying to talk in Italian, but then they would come back at me with, um, English because a lot of people want to practice their English here so yeah it sounds like excuses but it's real life that's what happened with me so I maybe got a little bit more comfortable stuff happened I had some health issues this 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 so again less of a priority um, the, the Italian came should have been more but it became less because I just need to survive and prioritize um, everything else before it just seemed like an additional thing to do but I've never, I would never be an ignorant person. There are some ignorant people. I met a lady um, in my old workplace. Sorry, one minute. I'm talking too much. I met a lady in my old workplace and she was like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm here for two or three years. I'm here with my husband. No, I don't see the need to learn the language. No, no, you know, I get by. I'm not going to learn it. She was just adamant that she's not going to learn it. And I just thought to myself, it's such an amazing experience to live in this country and an amazing experience to learn a new language and literally she, she, she just like cut it blank i'm not going to learn it can't be bothered they must talk in english to me they must talk in english to me you know that type of ignorant um, attitude and i believe it's those people with that type of attitude give the rest of the people a bad name people that are actually trying because sometimes when you're talking to Italian people and you maybe start out talking to them in English they get their back up straight away because they're like don't, don't don't talk to me in English I'm Italian you speak to me in Italian so they get their back up because they think that you can't be bothered you've got that British mentality where you think that everybody should do things and everybody should speak in English okay you got that mentality I don't necessarily British mentality but I'm just saying people's got like an idea in their mind that you know People that speak English might be a bit lazy because they believe that everybody else should talk in English in their language. Anyway, that aside, um, so yeah, I, I, that's not my idea. That's never been my idea to be like her and to have her attitude. It's just ha so happened that my language skills are just not up there. Um, okay, so yeah, so it just kind of I've in and out. I've tried to learn um, Italian. I've, I, I signed up to a course just before COVID. I signed up to a school earlier on this year and um, I went for some trial lessons. Then I was like, okay, this is the school for me. But then we had COVID. So obviously the school um, closed and they, they, they cancelled the course. I don't even think the school opened up again, guys. I don't know. I think they ran into some type of money issues. Um, but either way, I'm not ready to be around lots of people in the classroom. No, 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 that's not for me right now with this COVID situation going on. So I said to myself, I'm going to self-teach teach myself. So I've been at home learning the language here, there, everywhere, when I can, when whatever. Um, and it just does take discipline. It does take training, guys. It takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of training. All right. That's my story so far with Italian. But guys, I'm pumped and I'm motivated to learn the language. Don't, don't ever get it wrong. Right, so... 
let me give you some advice to overcome being in a situation like me, okay? Because believe me, it can happen. You start to come here and you start to function without knowing the language or with a little bit of the language. And for me, as I said, it would be a shame for me to leave Italy and not know Italian. It, just, it will not happen. All right, so number one, it'll make your life easier if you can learn Italian. It'll make you life, life easier in every aspect. It'll open up more opportunities for you in terms of job opportunities. You don't necessarily have to teach English. Yeah. You don't have to teach English, guys, if you know a different language. It's not easy to get another type of job, but at least you have, you have more possibilities if you know two languages, English and Italian, okay? It'll help, it help you out with friends, yeah? It'll help you out to make friends because they might become more confident and comfortable with you. it help you with appointments. Just everything, guys. Just make your life so much easier if you know the language um, from the get-go or from the, from, from the outset. All right, so let me to look at my paperwork. I, I, I've always got paperwork, guys, because I write these things then as I go along and I think, okay, this video might help somebody. This tip might help somebody. All right, so what to keep in mind? Learn the language before you come, okay? If you can't learn the whole language or you come here in short, with short notice like I did, um, you just um, learn as much as you can, learn the basics. I have a blog post that I'm going to publish today on my website, www.rebeabailey.com rebeabailey.com what I'm going to uh, publish today and it's just basically 30 of the most common words to learn before traveling to Italy please guys press the link there I'm going I leave it in the description and go over and read that blog post because believe me these words that I've put in there are words that I found beneficial and I find beneficial uh, knowing them now and it will may it help you to get by okay so it's words that I thought of like um tickets you need you need if you come to this country you need to buy a bus ticket a metro ticket just simple things like that but that can be overlooked but make your life much easier so please go over and check out that blog post to help all right um learn the language before you come okay so there's this method people always say to you or you might hear this oh when you go to a country you will learn the language very quickly that's not the case for everybody guys literally not the case at the end of the day, it's like sink or swim. Some people, you can throw them into a tub of water, a tub of, you know, a pool of deep water, and they will swim. Some people, you throw them into a tub of water and they will sink, guys. It's just as simple as that. Sometimes, when you're overstimulated with the language, this going on, some people just, no. It just doesn't go in, it just doesn't happen. Sometimes when people are even talking in Italian to me, I, I literally, I just zone out, guys. I, I zone out. My boyfriend said, did you get that? And I'm like, God, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not even listening. I don't know where I go, but I go somewhere. And it happens to a lot of my friends as well. And if you are learning another language or, um, yeah, you're learning another language, probably you have the same experience as well. Um, so, yeah, some people sink and some people swim. Please do not allow anybody to make you feel small because you don't know the language. You hear some people say, oh, you don't know the language yet? Oh, you, oh blah, 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 blah. Tell them to leave their country, okay, and go to a different country and learn the language. Tell them to do it. They're not walking in your shoes. Just take that in mind, so never feel bad. You know your capabilities and you know what you can do and, you, and I'm sure you'll do it when, when, when the right time is for you. Okay, so, um, so as I said, I teach in English all day, so that's another thing. If you teach in English all day, by the time you want to go home, you're going to be tired, guys. It, it, learning Italian might not be the first thing on your mind, but you literally have to prioritise it because the, the quicker you learn the language, then you don't have to think about it next year, in, in, in the coming years. Okay, so my boyfriend speaks English, and we find this a lot. All my friends are the same. Their boyfriends speak English, and they speak English to them. So when they first met, that's what they... Obviously, it's easy to communicate in... Um, the easiest language especially when you're trying to get to know somebody but it then becomes the habit and then that's what you do when you get people say oh it's easy enough you can just talk to your boyfriend in the language yeah you can but it's real life when you get home from work your boyfriend gets home from work sometimes people don't want to be talking a different language you don't want to be struggle talking you struggle talking okay so maybe set some time aside with your partner and say okay uh, at dinner time let's talk in English Let's talk in Italian, sorry. Can you teach me a new word every day? Can we do this? You have to just try to find what fits. Because, guys, life, life is happening. COVID is happening. It's all going on now, guys. All right, so my boyfriend speaks in English. English-speaking friends. Yeah, all my friends are English-speaking. There's nothing really you can do about that, you know. You're just happy to have a friend, you know. 
Um, people wanting to talk in English, this is another thing. When you meet people for the first time, you can speak to them, if you speak to them in English, that's it. That's it, you've set the tone. You're always gonna to talk to them in English. There was, I don't know, there's a study on this that when you first meet somebody, your future relationship with that person is in the language, the first language that you start to talk to them in. So if I start to talk to them in Italian, that we set the tone, we would always kind of speak in Italian. If I speak to them in English, we always speak in English. So try to be like, boom, even though you know it's easy for you, be like, no, 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 guys, I need to learn. Let, can I speak? I know it's difficult for you to, um, to f for you, and you need to have some patience with me, but please just allow me this. All right, so you need to, you need to be a little bit firm with it and say, no, I want to talk in Italian. So, okay. And many people want to speak in English because they want to practice their English. They don't have many opportunities with English speaking people. So when they do get the opportunity, they're like, yes, I want to show off. I want to show this person that I can speak in English. So you need to demand. First, they say who starts first. Okay, I told you that because um, I said it can become less of a priority. Uh -huh. Get it out of the way. Get learning the language out of the way. Just don't keep putting it off. Get it out of the way. Don't make anybody feel, make you feel bad. They're not in your shoes. I said that already. So yeah, basically, that's the gist of the story. So right now, I'm very motivated to learn the language and I will learn it. I will be fluent in Italian. And then my next language is French. I'm Spaniolo. So yeah, all right then guys, well I think that's the end of the video. I hope this video helped you. My next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell you guys what books I'm learning, what books I'm using to learn Italian, apps, etc. And then I'm going to put in more about the realities of um, just of real life here guys, with no sugar coating, no sugar coating. I'll tell you the goods and I'll tell you the bad. All right guys, well thank you for watching this video and if you're planning on coming to Italy, come on now guys, get the books out and start to, start to practice. Ciao first, ciao. Buongiorno, arrivederci. All right, start to practice, start to practice. All right then guys, ciao for now, bye.